Should I go keto? Should I go on the ketogenic diet? This is one of the most confusing questions that anybody, that anybody can ask on social media. Especially with the following I have in my niche, working with successful entrepreneurs. Why? You can guarantee that if you ask this question on social media, you're going to get 50, 60, 70 people in the first 10, 15 minutes tell you exactly what ketogenic dieting is, how it's going to be life's most amazing, trippy adventure that is going to do all sorts of wonderful things to your health. It's going to cure famine all around the world, going to conquer and make sure there's world peace everywhere. Is this really the case? This isn't going to go into depth about what the ketogenic diet is or anything like that, but if you were wondering, to put it simply, this is where you switch your macros around to a degree where you have about 80 odd percent from fat, very, very few carbs from like 5% carbohydrates from your leafy, your green vegetables and your fiber and stuff like that, and the rest from protein. So it is a very high fat diet, minimal, very minimal carbs and lowish protein. There are problems here, and this is not going into the performance wise or anything like that because we've had videos on that, and we know that there are so many people out there that know every single thing about athletic performance when it comes to ketogenic diet. This is not about that. This is about being able to follow a diet, being able to follow what you need specifically for your results. The first thing when it comes down to the ketogenic diet, I was doing a talk, in fact it was probably a year ago this month, and there was a lady there who was, she was, she was overweight, I'm not going to beat around the bush or anything, she was very overweight. She said, I felt amazing when I had the ketogenic diet. Cool. Are you still on that diet? No. Well, there's one of two things going on here. Either one, you do not respect your body, yourself your life enough to allow yourself to feel amazing, or two, it wasn't very sustainable for you and your situation where you're at right now. We have been thrown into the fitness industry where we say, eat small meals regularly. Is this a sustainable diet? Well, the first thing we need to look at is there are some studies showing that if overweight people eat regularly, if overweight people eat regularly, eat small meals, they're going to boost their cortisol levels to the point where they're going to cause undue stress. And then we add in the lack of carbohydrates and everything like this. They're going to crave food and everything. And then they're going to wonder, oh my God, how do I eat when I go out? Again, sustainability. Then people will be on this post that you've said, should I eat the ketogenic diet? Yes, but also do intermittent fasting. Cool, so you're telling me I can't have carbohydrates, and now you're telling me I can't eat for a certain period of time. These people are asking for help, okay? Help. Chances are some of these people have got underlying health issues as well. Is it really responsible for you to generalize, to say, take all your carbohydrates out, and then stop eating for a certain amount of time? Because if someone's got hormonal issues, Chances are intermittent fasting could potentially make those hormonal issues worse. Especially when we throw a cookie cutter plan towards this. And then they will say it's great because you get to eat loads of avocado. Well, if this person has got anxiety issues, stress issues and everything like that, is really eating high copper foods going to do the best for you? But let's take that back a step. Another massive step here. What if that person doesn't like avocados? And they're going to now have to embark on a diet that has loads of fat and loads of avocados. Oh, but they're great. I mashed mine up and I put them on something which isn't actually apparently good for you. Bread, which is definitely not going to be on the ketogenic diet. I mash them all up, put a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of salt and pepper on them. Mm, they're amazing. But I don't like avocados. Chances are these people will get confused because people will say, but I lost I lost a lot of weight doing the ketogenic diet. 
Yeah, you did lose a lot of weight. It's called depleting your body of glycogen. Now the brain does need glycogen to function. The body will convert fat into ketones, into glycogen, which essentially is another process when you could just stop your body having to go through that stress in the first place, potentially. Are there gonna be benefits to the ketogenic diet? Yes, there will be benefits to the ketogenic diet. However, however, the people that throw these comments about say that it's the only way to do it. If you want to be healthy, you have to go into a state of ketogenesis. There are so many different foods out there. Some of my clients have been on ketogenic diets. But as one of the leaders when it comes to health optimization for successful entrepreneurs, let me tell you, the ketogenic diet is not the only way to do it. Neither is intermittent fasting. Neither is, as we say with an intermittent fasting note, going the warrior diet. Neither is detoxing. It is about finding what works specifically for you, using the foods that you love out of the millions of foods around the world that fits your situation, that fits your schedule, and works long-term and is sustainable. Yes, you'll get quick weight loss because you're gonna dehydrate your body, then you're gonna pull the glycogen stores out and everything like that. But do you want weight loss or do you want sustainability with your health optimization? The choice is yours.